today I'm with Gavin Nichols, Young Hammer. He actually <laughs> just won the high school tournament on Rice Lake there last year. He was supposed to go down south for the high school nationals uh, within the next couple months, but because of COVID, it's getting postponed till next year. I yeah. bet you're pretty excited about that. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I bet, and uh, you know, I did it growing up and it's an experience yeah. of a lifetime. It is a ton of fun. And today we're right here in the Durham region. Gavin actually was randomly drawn for the cooped up trick shot challenge I did. It was a little contest I did uh, doing trick shots with a fishing rod into a cup or whatever. And I did that during COVID while we were all in quarantine and bored at the house. So he was chosen at random for a free guided trip out here on the water with me today. We're gonna start the Merc up, rip over to our first zone, see if we can't catch some big smallmouth right here on Lake Simcoe. A lot of the time, they either smash it or it's just like, feels like you're reeling into a clump of weeds or just there. That's how oh, this one hit. It's a big one. About time, it's been about two hours. We haven't got a fish in the boat. I think Gavin was starting to get a little worried if I actually knew how to catch fish or not. <laughs> First one of the day is a big one. Lake Simcoe is just crazy. As, like, this is our first fish of the day and it's a five pounder. Big body, it's barely fun. Look at that, guys. That's why we come to Lake Simcoe. Just giants. Like, it's insane. You're next, Jeff. Yep. Again, just on a spy bait, slowly creeping it. And that thing just does a little wiggle through the water, and it's got blades on each end of it, and it just drives the fish crazy. Look at that fat, fat smallie. Fighting a grouper. Look at that. The jump. Got to be super light. I'm using six pound test, so you got to really take your time that spy bait you want light line that way it can sink faster and it just gives the bait a little bit more of a wobble it looks more natural it gives it a little bit more of a finesse presentation and you seem to get a lot more bites when you downsize the line and you'll never snap off as long as you take your time set your drag they'll stay pinned Yeah, it's a good one, man. <laughs> it's a real good one. Won't got the net today. There she is. Another big old Lake Simcoe smallmouth. Two in the box so far, it's 11 o'clock. We haven't been getting many bites. They're definitely good ones. It's Gavin's turn. He's gonna catch a big one here in the next, next little bit, he's up. Big one too, eh? Oh, 
you go, bud. Show the camera. There you go. Giant Lake Simcoe smallmouth. You stoked? Yeah. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> A big one, another fiver. We're on our pace to a 25 yeah. sack, eh? Holy. Yeah. So much fun. Just about to head in. Decent one on the spy bait. All in all, an awesome day with Gavin. Yeah. That was a ton of fun. Caught a bunch of fish, not a bunch, but we caught some good ones. Probably caught 10 fish all day, 12 fish. Came out for the few hours we were out here. Had an absolute blast. Gavin, thanks for coming out, man. That was fun. Thanks for inviting me. It was a great day. Anytime. And uh, stay tuned. We're going to be doing a lot more content. The next episode's most likely going to be a largemouth episode, which we're pretty pumped about. So stay tuned, see you on the water, catch some big ones, stay safe. And until next time, I'm Cooper Glant, and this is my passion. One more cast, one more fish. Eh? Yeah.